Hey there, it's Terry Britton here, and uh, I wanted to make a quick video to <clears throat> explain how to solve a problem that a lot of musicians are having who are trying to do uh, hangouts on air in studio mode, and that, that are using something like the Focusrite 2i2, which is what I'm using, um, or some other USB interface that has what they call discrete channels, meaning if you plug into the left channel, uh, what goes into the computer is just the left channel. It doesn't get put into the center channel to be mono. In other words, uh, it just shows up in like your left earphone and does not wind up in both earphones in the middle channel uh, because it hasn't been mixed to also go to the right channel. If you plug into your mic into the left channel, you only hear it out of one headphone. And uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate because this microphone set up that way. And there you go. This is what you, uh, your your hangout people hear is just left channel where, uh, you know, it comes out of one speaker. And it's a little awkward, especially with headphones. You can kind of get away with listening to speakers because you know, if you have good speakers, it comes out of one speaker, okay. However, this sounds a lot better and your performance sounds like it's in the center. It's still mono, but it's two speaker mono. So it's using both speakers. It's uh, actually the develop designer of the Philharmonic uh, Hall and Carnegie Hall claimed that two speaker mono was actually superior to stereo and sound. So, uh, so you want to get the, the sound to go to both. And so the easiest way that I know of to do it is to use this program called Voice Meter. Uh, you simply download it from this site over here. Let me bring that up. There we are. And uh, this is the Voice Meter site. And it's a virtual audio mixer, but you don't have to use it for anything complicated. So you just scroll on down where install is, get the EXE and do the installation, right clicking on it and doing it as an administrator. And here's where you make your donation. Uh, $10 euro is about $13 American USD. Um, so something between 13 and 20 bucks would be a really decent little donation to make. But he made it donationware so that you could afford to use it. So anybody could afford to use it, basically. And if you can't afford anything, then you don't pay anything, okay? Um, so basically, the setup that you want doesn't need to have anything else lit up. It needs to have an A1 selected and it has to have a hardware input selected. So first you would pick your A1 and make that the Focusrite USB driver. You'd pick that right from the very bottom as an ASIO device. And that'll set up your latency to be really low. Uh, that's the amount of delay. And you set your hardware input to be the ASIO um, device. Actually, that'll set up automatically when you pick this to be uh, the Focusrite. This will become the Focusrite on this side. And then you pick the B, and the B, then you select that, the voice meter as the microphone for your Hangouts on Air. And you're done. Basically, you, you got it all going on. And uh, now your mix down goes in as the microphone. Instead of picking the focus right as the microphone, you pick voice meter, and it's already turned into a mono signal. And now it's going to sound great being right in the center. Now, you... You, the uh, Bs are the broadcast, that's their output to the HOA. A is for the monitoring. So you can turn it on, but you're going to get a little bit of delay. It'll be a slight like slapback echo, a tiny delay. You can't avoid that because the signal's got to go into the computer and back out to your headphones. And there's always a little bit of processing time. You can lower that by going in to Windows uh, for Focusrite anyway. There you go. And you pick the Focusrite USB 2.0 audio control panel. Oh, great. That's not what I wanted. Let's try that again. There. Okay, so this is what I want. And you get this little thing right here. And i got to turn down to 5 milliseconds right now, which is pretty short. I've got it down to 3 without getting clicking on my machine. But you have to experiment around and find the, the fastest that you can go, the lowest number here that you can go by sliding this to the left as far as your buffer length is concerned. It'll come as a default uh, much higher, okay? Like 10 milliseconds or so, or, or 12. And But you can try to see if you can get away with having it lower. Uh, especially if you're a keyboardist using this as your interface, this, this mixer, um, and you want to be able to hear what you're playing, you know, through the uh, computer, 
you'll want this as low as possible, or you'll drive yourself crazy with the delay of hitting keys. But that's what we're mainly interested here is getting the microphone. So going from this kind of a sound to this kind of a sound without having to use an external hardware mixer, okay? And having to set that with the balance control to the middle and sending it out both stereo channels and into, into and taking up both of the plugs on your focus right. So, uh, so this way you get it into mono. All right, so, so that's that. You can also, you have some position controls in here and uh, some tone controls that you can mess with. And uh, you get a 3D panel that can create a virtual virtual uh, panning kind of a thing with your signal, as you can see. And you double click and it gets back to center. I got to that by right clicking. Um, but it has some other nice controls, but let's keep it simple. Turn everything off but this. You'll just need the B. You need your focus right there. You need your focus right as A1. You need these levels to be up. That's all you need. And then select the voice meter as your microphone in the HOA and you're done. Okay? So, you want to know more about it? Ask me. I've been playing with this a lot, pushing its limits. And I also am using the Pro version, the Voice Meter Pro. But uh, I can help you out. If you make a comment in the YouTube video, you know, make a comment there. I usually answer the comments the same day. So if you've got any questions, let me know. Maybe we can do a hangout, talk about stuff too. Or I can make some more videos and explain more things. I want to keep this short and sweet, so just get right to the cut cut right to the chase. I want to get my left channel only microphone so it's in both speakers and sounds great on a studio mode, hang out on air, doing some stuff or YouTube live or in a recording or whatever you're going to use it for, but at least you're in you're in two speaker mono okay which sounds a lot better all right take care let me set this thing to stop and uh write your questions on youtube okay see you later bye